Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you Sublime Linter for Sublime Text 3. And now we already did a video on how to lint your code with Sublime Text. However, Sublime Text 3 has a new Sublime Linter, which is really quite extraordinary but very different. So, the important thing to note about Sublime Text 3's linter is that it doesn't come with any linting plugins and it doesn't come with any additional linting packages. What that means is that to get the linters to work, not only do you have to have the specific linter package, but you also have to have whatever software your system needs to actually run that linter. And now for each linter, that process might be a little bit different. However, um, from what I've seen, it either involves installing some sort of Ruby gem or installing a node package or something. So we're going to go ahead and install JS Hint with the new Sublime Linter. So first things first, we have to get the new Sublime Linter. And so if I do Command Shift P or Control Shift P on Windows, I can bring up uh, package control by typing in package and then going down to install package. Now we're going to look for Sublime Linter. Now there is one called Sublime Lint. Uh, you're going to make sure that it's Sublime Linter, all one word, just like this. And we're going to hit enter here. So now this is going to install and it gives you this big uh, welcome page. And it says it's not a drop in replacement. It is different, but uh, like I said, it's awesome. Um, it's it's actually I definitely prefer it. The reason why it's better is the last Sublime linter. Uh, when you linted something, it opened up a little dialog box down here. This it actually puts in the gutter a little uh, circle, giving you errors and warnings and stuff like that. So um, it says to read the docs and please do. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in there. We're gonna cover the basics here, but uh, go ahead and just read this stuff, right? Um, you'll understand it just a little bit better. Okay, so now I close that out. And I want to grab a linter for, um, uh, let's say, I want to add a linter for JavaScript. So let's open up this plugins.js file, right? And I didn't write this. This is um, This came with the HTML5 boilerplate. And I'm gonna do Command Shift P or Command or Control Shift P to open up our prompt. We can type in package, and we want to find the package for JS Hint. Which, if you are familiar with JS Hint, it's basically a JavaScript linter. Um, and the best way to find these is basically to type in Sublime Linter and then hyphen. And there's a list of all of the different Sublime linters. And you can see there's a, a couple of CoffeeScript ones. There's actually an SCSS linter. There's a CSS linter. And uh, pretty much anything you'd want here. Uh, you can lint your code. And I, I really, really like this. So the one we're going to use is JS Hint. We hit Enter. Now, this tells you it's important that you want to go to this GitHub page to learn how to actually install the linter itself. Because uh, the program, the package here for Sublime JS Hint, doesn't actually know what to do uh, without going to, without having the actual uh, uh, node package here for this particular one. So if we go to this page, it brings us to this GitHub page. Um, and it gives us some insta installation directions down here. And first thing you need to do is installed Node.js. Um, so they have a link here for you. Node.js has a really easy installer. Um, you can just click install and, and download it here. I believe I have it on my system, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, confirm that in a second. If you want to know if you already have it, I mean, chances are if you didn't know you downloaded it, then you probably don't. Um, but a way you can check is by typing in npm space hyphen v. And of course, it's going to say npm not found uh, because I don't have Node Package Manager installed. So I'm going to go ahead and run this installer that I clicked from the Node.js website and be back in one second. 
Okay, so that installer was nice and quick. Now if I type npm hyphen v, you can see I actually get a version because I have node package manager. And uh, node package manager is basically, um, like it says, it's a package manager that's going to grab a different node package that your system can use for all sorts of handy things. So in this particular instance, we want to run the command npm space install space hyphen g, which means it's installing it globally for your system and not just part of this project, and then js hint. So of course, I'm just gonna copy this command directly from uh, the GitHub, and because I'm installing this globally, I'm, I'm going to have to need to type sudo first. So sudo space npm space install space hyphen g space js hint. And we hit enter, I enter my password, and it's, and it's gonna go ahead and install this package. Now, as long as everything's good, we should have this package installed, and we should be ready to go with our linter. So let's come back to Sublime Text. So we have it installed. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and close Sublime Text and reopen it. And you know, I, I just sort of like to make sure that it's, uh, you know, closed and reopened after installing new plugins, especially because Sublime Text is so good about remembering, you know, your windows and stuff like that. It's really no problem. So now we have our JavaScript document. Now, there's clearly no problem with this document at all, right? Um, until I start typing in here, and you'll notice some stuff happened. So let's go ahead and actually get rid of just some of this uh, code up here. And now when I, I don't even have to save it, right? Uh, you can see I have some red dots here. Not to mention I have some uh, sur or, you know, rounded squares around part of my code. So now when I click on this code, if you look at the very bottom of your sublime text, you will see uh, it's going to explain the errors a bit. So this says it expected an identifier and instead saw a var. Of course, that's because we're missing some of the parentheses here and uh, one of the brackets. So of course, if I fix that, it's back to normal. Now that the reds are going to be errors and the yellows are gonna be warnings. Likewise, if I delete this, uh, semicolon here, it's not going to be an application breaking semicolon. However, it is going to tell me that when I go over here that I'm missing a semicolon. Now, I've checked out some of the other linters, the SCSS linter and the HTML PHP linter, and they all work pretty much the exact same. Uh, however, the installation process might just be a little bit different. For instance, for the SAS, um, Hinter, we had to install the SAS linter gem. So instead of installing it via node package manager, we had to run a gem command, a, uh, a gem install command. Now, if you have PHP on your system already, we can confirm that by typing in PHP space hyphen V. If you have PHP on your system, then you'll note that the uh, package for Sublime Linter, uh, I'll find it right now, Sublime Linter hyphen PHP is going to work fine. So we can go ahead, get that one, and of course it has another GitHub page, and if you go here, it's basically just going to tell you, hey, you need PHP, here's how to tell if you have PHP, if not, you can install it via these methods. So this is how you can use Sublime Text Linter 3. Now, one quick thing to note is, is that let's say you're tired of it linting your JavaScript, you don't really care, but you still want it to lint some other things. Well, if you do your command prompt, again, we can type in linter, and you'll see that there's an option for toggle linter. Now when we hit this, you'll see that JS hint and PHP are both enabled. Now we could select one of these and disable it if we no longer want to receive errors. So let's go ahead and disable the JS hint. Now when I make a mistake, 
I don't have it bugging me about anything. Um, and you know, it's, it's no longer linting my code. Of course, uh, the point of the linters is, is to have it check out your code. So if you're using it, um, you can always toggle them on and off whether or not you want them on or off. There we go. It's back on. Cool. So that's Sublime Text Linter 3. Let me know if you have any questions or any trouble with any uh, linters in particular, and I can go over installing those in more specifics uh, because they're all just a little bit different. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook or our, our uh, Level Up Tuts forum. We'd love to hear from you. So thanks for watching and bye.